cocktail with Tia and the Jays. I'm Turquoise. It's my mother Janice and my sister Janice. And today we have a, a lot to discuss. Um, our topics are the fortunate passing of Nick Cannon's five-month-old son, Van. Um, Cardi B, her event in Miami uh, last weekend. It, it, it didn't turn out so well for the black women. A DC woman, Sylvia Matthews, uh, 71 years old, was murdered in her home. And Christopher Kaiser, the treatment that she's receiving versus what Rittenhouse got. And a father and daughter dance has social media up in a frenzy. So we're going to go ahead and talk about the passing of Nick Cannon's five-month-old son. Rest in peace, baby Van. Yes, yeah. yes. Let's go ahead and go to scene three, please. I want to show a picture of the family. All right. Um, so Nick Cannon revealed on his show, the Nick Cannon show, that they noticed for a while that his son was was had certain features, like his. He stated that his head was, you know, um, a lot, yeah, that. at a larger size, and he took it as okay. Well, I have a big head, so he could have inherited from me. He noticed that he was coughing a lot, so he thought he had a sinus issues. He took him to the doctor and. Come to find out, he actually had a cancerous tumor. He had surgery, and still the cancer didn't go away. It progressed, and it was more aggressive. And unfortunately, the baby passed away um, over last weekend, and Nick Cannon revealed that on his show. I also want to say um, to the mother, Alyssa Scott, you know, my condolences to her as well. Um, I feel like because Nick Cannon is the one in the spotlight that people aren't probably really thinking about how she's feeling and how she's going through and handling it. I'm just so sad. I couldn't imagine losing my child. I, 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 I couldn't fathom that at all. Um, Ma, what are your your thoughts on that? It's just sad. That's all. And then some some souls are just put here, just to be born from a woman and then go to heaven. You know. Well, me personally, I just want to say, no parent. You know, it, it, I, as a mother myself, I cannot imagine something happening to my baby. And I know mm -hmm. that's how it is for all parents. But I want to give props to Nick Cannon because he was so strong there. For him to be able to come into work and tell his story about what happened with his son on national TV. In front of, he didn't even have to do that. Mm -hmm. But that is painful. And you're absolutely right. His mother... Alyssa, the pain that a parent would go through. Anytime anything happens with your child, it, the pain never goes away as a parent. Something like that never goes away. And they need love and support mm -hmm. around them because this is one of the most hurtful things you can go through. And I send my condolences to Nick, Alyssa, their entire family. I send you nothing but love and good vibes and prayers and hope that, you know, you can cope the best way you can because there is no way mm -hmm. to get over something like this. And then, um, so that weekend, last weekend, Nick also said that he usually spends the weekends with his family and then he'll fly back out to do his show. But just something about that weekend stuck with him. Like he wanted mm -hmm. to take his, his son out and he just Alyssa had it. out. He went back. Yeah, they, they had um, went to the beach earlier that day, watched the sunrise. He was headed to the airport to get on the plane to fly out to um, New York. He turned around, um, went back to the sun, and then they watched the sunset. And then later on that night, the, the baby passed. And I was just like, that's. When you know something is about to occur and you, you just feel it in your spirit and your soul, that's just something What's even crazier about that is the pain and beauty mm -hmm. in a moment like that. Mm -hmm. The pain and beauty in a moment like that. Like, I'm here with you mm -hmm. till the end. Because he didn't know. Like, he probably was, you know, he, he may have been talking to be like, oh, he's, you know, he's going to be around for a oh, while, wow. it probably ain't that serious, I'm gonna go ahead and do the show, but no, something was sticking out to him to where he was like, let me turn around and let me go be with my family. So again, our condolences um, to the Cannon family. All right, uh, moving along. So I found this clip on Instagram of Floyd Mayweather, 
and he was on the show Drink Champs with Noriega. And Noriega mentioned how Mayweather's son had good hair, and Floyd had to, well, Mayweather Floyd had to um, educate him. a year ago. Yeah, it was uh, in 2020. I forgot the month. So I want to go ahead and go to scene five, and we'll play that clip. And he seriously got good hair too. He got good hair. You no, 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 because there's colorism when we say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's colorism. That's well, color. That's well, color. That's colorism when we say well, that. I don't even, so because the opposite. See, the thing is this. Even like the thing when they when they, they when they keep on, when they keep on saying when they saying Becky with the good hair. So if Becky got the good hair. Then what? what Someone's do, got the bad hair. Well, who got the bad right. hair? Because the opposite of good is bad. Right. So once again, we that's colorism. Uh, I mean, it is true, bro. Like you got it. So, so. So my thing is this. See, I'm real. You gotta realize I'm real sharp. Mm. I'm real educated on all this stuff. Mm. So my thing is this. I like to say that it's different textures, and and and, and you got one with coarse, and you got you got you may have a person with coarse, and you may have someone with curly. Mm. You got different textures. That's it. But it's not a such thing as good and bad. Right. It's just different textures. Because if we say um, someone got good hair, then what's the opposite of good? I think it's bad. Okay, so we don't want to say that. I mean, you got a curly texture. It's okay. Okay, I'm in. I can rock with you that. You know, shit happens. Shit happens, goddamn. All right, so my thoughts. I agree with Floyd 100%. And I wish I would have discovered this clip when we were speaking about the Love and Hip Hop Miami situation about the black women's retreat and having mixed kids should give you a pass to be um, included into black women um, events, things like that. So, um, yeah, I agree hundred percent. How do you think that, that what they're saying is going to affect kids who see their hair as more coarse, you know, like growing up, we used to get perms and, and like it was our interpretation of, Oh yeah, I'd rather have my hair straight and silky and i feel like i look better this way and now that we're adults we're trying to get back to our natural state of not perming our hairs and wanting to have the 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 full afros and the, the full curls and just you know being more in a natural state and i feel like it's disturbing for the black community basically saying if you're if you don't have this kind of textured hair then you're not worth anything or this person's better than you because they have straight hair what are um your thoughts, Mom? It don't matter because some people bald headed, so it doesn't matter about your hair. It's it's how you are as a person, though. But it's sad that people that have curly hair, because I have real curly hair. Matter of fact, it's pretty nappy, <laughs> but I like it. You know what I mean? It's it's that's some God gave me. Mm -hmm. I'm I, I'm wearing wigs right now, but that's because I lost some of my hair right here but when i get my hair back y'all will see it i i just think it's sad people judge you for everything mm -hmm. even your hair and that also ties back to what we discussed about on the show previously about um african-american women getting jo jobs and how we have to present ourselves a certain way and how our, our hair has to be we can't wear dreadlocks we can't have afros we gotta have this the straight hair even today like you were saying we all you know, are in our natural state. And it's not because anybody pressured us. It's just a preference at this moment. That's how we want our hair to be. But, um, I want to discuss things, sir. What are your, um, I was just taking in everything you guys were saying. And honestly, it put a lot of stuff in my head about it. Like here I am, like now I have a wig on right now. And it's not because I hate my natural hair texture is because I chopped all of my hair off and I was like super depressed about it and but the, as far as texturism goes I would be considered the person that has the coarse hair I have coarse hair and when people say you have good hair Floyd Mayweather was like I didn't know Floyd Mayweather was had was that enlightened? Had that mentality, yeah. I didn't know he was that enlightened mm -hmm. to understand that. I'm saying, if you have hair at yeah, all, good hair. it's good <laughs> hair. If you have hair that covers all of your hair, you don't have bald spots, you got hair, 
that's good hair. Period. Whether it's stringy, coarse, curly, whatever it is. If you have hair, it's good hair. So Floyd Mayweather was absolutely right mm -hmm. in what he was saying. And this is what bothers me about like the you there's a culture of people black women in particular because you know wigs and weaves are tied to us even though all, all nationalities mm -hmm. of women wear wigs and weaves but it's mainly tied to us because people know that we're the ones likely to have the coarse hair mm -hmm. It's tied to us because we're likely to have the coarse hair, and because we have the coarse hair, if we don't know what to do with it, we decide to do like wear the wigs or whatever. All of a sudden, it's, you hate yourself. You don't like who you it's just are. A it's just styling your hair, it's and it's just styling your mm -hmm. hair. But at the same time, you're calling our hair bad. Mm -hmm. This video was basically y'all calling our hair bad. We get called nappy headed. We get, get we get called all kinds of derogatory things. But what's also I feel like what's changing in the world today is because like in Asian cultures they're coursing their hair up to have afros. And even in the seventies, like I had a middle school teacher named Miss Turley. I'll never forget her. She was amazing. I loved her so much. She said, "Us white people used to put." afros in our hair we used to get afros they used to have perms they, they used to get it, 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 and that's mm -hmm. another thing i wanted to say about you mentioned about the perms perms are what white people do to make their hair curly, curly mm -hmm. and relaxers are what black people do to make our hair mm -hmm. straight so that has been a thing and curly coarse hair has always been beautiful i don't know what the stigma is but it definitely needs to change and nobody has ever said to a person who's not African-American, you don't like yourself because you went and got a perm and now your hair is, you know, a little more yes. coarser. But why is it we hate ourselves if we go out? And then, yes. yeah, you're telling us that our natural hair is ugly. Uh, uh, yeah. So how do you think we're supposed to handle situations like that? Like, and then when women wear weaves or wigs and stuff, like, oh, you hate yourself. Well, you literally uh -huh. told me it was ugly. And then even, and this stigma is put on the African American culture since we were young. Like, if you wore your natural hair and you didn't have it all going all the way down to your back, it wasn't yes. long. It was called a bald headed scallywag, yes. and got no hair can't touch. There was your back a whole song, bald headed scallywag. Yeah. Your hair could touch your back. Yeah, like, there was a whole song. Up, about weaved it. up, your shit is fucked up. Like all, yeah, like well, that was I think what we added on. We were kids. In school. But no, I was like, no, the, but it that was common. Yeah, and it was those things known. sticks, you know, stick in kids' minds, and so. Is what do you expect, how do you expect a kid to grow up and be if at a young age you put in that stigma on that, hate yourself, mm -hmm. you know, because what you have is not good enough. The way you mm -hmm. are now is not good enough. And when you get older, it's, it's, you're, you're not going to be good enough. Your, your hair yourself. isn't growing out a certain way. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with you, but then they also fault you for not being natural. And I'm going to say, you know. You hate yourself because you're not natural, but they hate your natural hair. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, I'm a little guilty with that because when I had my daughter and I, <laughs> and I, you know, was glad that she didn't have like a bad texture, which is considered a bad texture of hair. I, I was like real happy about it, but as I grew up and became an adult, I realized like, hey, it doesn't matter how what the textured hair she has, as long as she. That's awesome that you. Um, I want to say something about texture of hair. When Turquoise was a baby, and I used to wash my hair she did not know who I was mm -hmm. because it was so different. Yeah. It was so curly and short. And that's and another thing. She did not know who I was and I was her mama. That's another, what, what, you know what that was? You experienced shrinkage because another thing about black coarse hair, when you have four C hair or you're in the fours, you know, that mm -hmm. type of hair, when you, when it's wet, it shrinks. It does. It shrivels mm -hmm. to your head. And people are like, oh, she bald headed. And you can literally <laughs> pull a string and it could be as long as the, the day. I could attest to that because I post pictures of my natural hair. Yes. And I'm pulling my All hair the time. my daughter. All, shrinkage yeah. is yeah. also a very huge thing when it comes to 4C hair. 
and a lot of people don't understand it, mm -hmm. so they make negative assumptions. This is my problem with the texturism. It's texturism. The texturism, especially when it comes to black hair. No matter if you have coarse hair where your coils are tightly coiled or you have loose coils, you know, mm -hmm. you know that four C, uh, not four C, the four A, the fucking three C, those loose coils, curls of black people. Those are different. Like in that video we just watched, his son probably had like A C type curl texture. Or maybe four, three, like something like I don't that. I have a clue what she's talking about. Four, there three. are different oh. levels of textures. You know, like how you can have bone straight. Like there's levels to it. If you think about, like, if you if you want to put race into it, white people probably have the thinnest, straightest hair, and then black people probably have the coarsest, curliest. Hair. And Jesus had tight, hair like wool. Tightly coral. But there is so many out. in between. Mm -hmm. So many textures in between. So when I say 3C, 4C, all of that shit, I'm talking about the different types of hair textures in between. Those two very far different. And then black people have those. And when you say good hair, like Chris Rapp did a whole movie about it. Mm -hmm. When you say good hair, you are literally saying that because your hair isn't coiled like how darker skinned black people's hair is coiled, that your hair is good and their hair is bad. And honestly, anything that, any of our features, people thick see noses, as negative. Thick lips. But, but they trying later, to get them thick lips. Yeah, yeah. But look how many like years. It, I feel like it took Kim Kardashian. It took nine black people Having yes. those attributes, going to get lip for injections, to be butt injection, injections, like all kinds of stuff to change the way that they look, in order for it to be accepted Beautiful. by society. In order and for it to say the truth, in order for it to be considered to beautiful. be considered to be considered beautiful, but also accepted. That's a form of accepting it. Usually, it's ill. I don't want to deal with it. You need to change your but whole appearance. What I'm to, saying to is that me. they consider those features ugly. When they're on black people, but they consider them beautiful when it's on people that are right. black. Right, and we're saying the same thing. Yes, if it's, uh, we are saying right. the same thing. Because if it's considered ugly, then to them it probably wouldn't be accepted. That's I, the main point that I'm trying to make. <laughs> yeah, we're saying the same thing. But the way you're saying it, though, is the reason why I said no. The main point is they're shunning black women. Yeah, blackness. but also... Just because somebody has those features, and if they're a, a different ethnicity than black, does not mean that it's going to be beautiful. They could still be an ugly ass person, Girl, but it's acceptable. You are absolutely more right. than what it is with us. You're absolutely. This is exactly what I'm trying to say. You're absolutely <laughs> right. Yeah. That's, but the way they try to word is, I feel like people try to add different types of terminologies on onto it instead of just outright admitting because that you don't want dark skinned people I've that have seen these some features. White women that have been judged for their lips, like Lisa Rinna. She, she used had to get, lips injections. I know, but I'm saying she has those big lips. And she used to get a lot of backlash about her lips. Because they sh knew she was getting surgery. Yeah, but they they didn't But then they it. start doing it too. Yeah. But then but they didn't see it as like Beautiful. They see this like ill. Like what? What you got going on with your face? Why your lips look like that? And th that's all I was saying about the just because it's they're accepting it doesn't mean that it's beautiful and vice versa. Okay, let's go to another subject. <laughs> all right. So moving along, and we won't be on this topic that long because I mean I was finding it disgusting. I don't have much to say about it besides I'm disgusted. Yeah, I don't have a lot to say about this. Well, I well can, go on, girl. <laughs> Um, it's uh, so a father posted on social media a video of his toddler daughter dancing provocatively in front of him. In my eyes, it looked like she was giving him a lap dance, although she wasn't touching him or on him, but she was directly in front of him and he was sitting in a chair, like just filming it. And it kind of put social media in a frenzy. So he was saying, It's, it's innocent, my daughter was dancing, not just recording it. Da, da, da. 
Now I can see if she, she was doing like something like something that wasn't seen as sexual, like ballet or you know doing a, a appropriate dance routine, and he's she's not directly in front of him and he's recording her off to the side. That's something different. But you literally have your daughter twerking in front of you, and you're just sitting there like a like you're at a strip club filming it. I find that highly disturbing and disgusting. So I don't have much to say about that aside from that. You got um, shame on you. I have a lot to say actually. Please, yeah. Because there's, I'm conflicted in a lot of in this story because the dad, which you know how we encourage our kids like mom you when we were kids you always wanted us to dance and you know you love seeing us dance but not twerk no wait a second and not directly in front of her mm-hmm. that i feel <laughs> i agree giving it a lap dance i feel the lap dance is where the disgustingness comes mm-hmm. from the fact that he sexualized his daughter mm-hmm. i felt like that was completely disgusting and unacceptable but I will say this as far as dancing goes dancing in general Mm -hmm. because black women get shamed for twerking and you can call it twerking when really it's just like booty bouncing which is culturally accepted in all forms Mm -hmm. of cultures it's only considered bad when it's black women doing it you can you, you even see you even see when white women or people that are not black twerk and bounce their booty good. What do they get? Nothing but praise. But I'm telling you, hold if on, this was hold a on white a family. No, if this it would was be a, the same. But no, the same I'm, I'm not saying what he did was right. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying what he did was right. I just want to make that known. What he did was wrong. What he did was wrong because he sexualized his daughter. It had nothing to do exactly with the dance. He literally did the, the what you go into the strip club and do. Where you have some woman gyrating on you. And it doesn't matter what type of dance you do. What if she was in like a Motley Crue video? She's not twerking. But she's still sexually provocative, provocative and dancing on him. That's what he did to his daughter. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with the dance itself. Right, right. That's what I'm trying to say. And I, don't think, I feel I think like when it comes dynamic, to it, dances that black women do are sexualized and seen as bad automatically. The actions that what he did put his daughter in a strip club setting. I wouldn't say twerking is bad. It's a cultural dance. Have you the the Hawaiian dance where they're moving their hips in all fast they shaking their booties way, way better than girls that twerk. And uh, you might see that more acceptable, but why? And I don't think it's the fact of saying that twerking is bad. I think because she's a toddler and she was... I, I totally agree. I, I'm just pointing that out. Mm-hmm. What this man did was completely wrong. What he did was completely wrong. But I don't want people to demonize, quote-unquote, twerking, a form of dance... I don't want people to demonize that because it's only demonized because it's tied to black women. Yeah, I don't, I I honestly think it's it's acceptable now. Like I don't think it gets a lot of it's backlash. A, it's a form of dance. Yeah, I don't think it gets a lot of, of, of backlash. It does though. The I I haven't seen it get a lot. People of backlash. all just the the re, what this dad did was wrong because he put him like a stripper nightclub type setting like that you don't do that to your daughter Mm -hmm. that's horrible but when it comes to just normal dance like you dancing with your family somebody like goes and pounce you shouldn't be like angry and get upset and want to fight and you know be upset like i feel like in a normal setting where people are just dancing I don't feel like that should be considered something. And I feel like that's what people are doing when it comes to twerking. I don't, I don't think it's um, bad. I will say as long as it's not. Sexually it's, 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 provocative. It's, it's provocative in itself because you, I'm pretty sure that. Dynamic- you know why? You know why it's considered sexually provocative? 
Because you're bouncing your ass. No, not even it's, that. It's, it's because a, if a woman that didn't have was, if a woman that wasn't well endowed, meaning she didn't have the thickness, the big, and she's twerking, it would not be considered bad. You know who I say twerks a lot and don't is a slim woman, Sierra, the artist. Yes. It, it may be because she is kind of, it doesn't fit. look as bad right. as it does when fit. other people do right. it. Because they're doing, she's not doing it uh, to gyrate on to nobody. Allow, That's just a and dance. I, and I think what it she's is too is not, I was, for me, my mindset was talking about the taller yeah, dancing. I yeah. I like know. basically giving her father a lap, a lap dance, not the That's dance wrong. itself. On so many levels. But I will say, um, a lot of things are deemed to be sexual because of those who may become aroused by it. And that's and so, not right. And, and so, like, how I mentioned earlier, it may have been different if she was doing ballet and she wasn't directly in front of her father and he was recording her. I haven't known or heard of a lot of people becoming aroused by watching somebody do ballet versus somebody bouncing a butt. Because you're in black culture and you're not used to that. It's um, something completely I can different. guarantee you there are men of other races that are completely aroused by I mean, guys get a, guys can get that. aroused by a piece of Anything. fruit. But I was just mm-hmm. saying, like, for me, that's, I'm just being made completely inappropriate. Not saying the dance itself. No, I taller. completely agree with you. Um, I just wanted to put that in there because for the simple fact that that's always used to demonize women. Like, for instance, you mentioned Sierra. Mm-hmm. Sierra... A good example would be that girl Sierra, can dance though. She can dance her ass off. Mm-hmm. Speaking of that, let me give you a good example. I'm in a group of men, unfortunately, and see, recently there was a video posted of Sierra. She was topless, and all you saw was her. She back. had a bottle on her she, head, and she was twerking, and ju- and she was low and twerking. Mm-hmm. Men are going crazy and demonizing this woman, and little do they know that her husband recorded it. Saying she's disrespecting her husband, saying that she's uh, doing, she's being a hoe, she's trying to be a thought, and her husband literally that girl can dance. Mm-hmm. That she girl was can literally dance. just dancing. She's just showing she has the skill mm-hmm. to do this. And she shit. still got it after she's them still, babies. Like after and she's stuff. gonna have three kids, and she still can do it. You go, girl. <laughs> you go see. It. This is why I brought that up because her husband literally filmed her doing it. Mm-hmm. And it was posted on social media. Her husband was clearly like, "Yeah, check out my wife." My but wife that's the men that's and jealous because like, they'll of, never what get with her. What wife would do that? She's disrespecting her husband, and, 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 and she's being a hoe. And she's a thot. Mm-hmm. She can dance her, her ass off. Dan- I bet from you. From her I, being able to twerk, she can from dance. From her being really able good. to twerk, I love to watch her dance. I do too. She that girl can do, dance her ass yeah. off. I love watching Sierra dance. She's a great and people dancer. are mm-hmm. insulting men. Are but you know what? Back. I don't know why we give a damn what men think. This is because what I'm for saying. the simple yes. fact they have a problem with everything. Everything. It's, society is definitely everything, especially now. when it comes to black women. Because how can you be mad at a woman who's married? Her husband. I bet you if Kim Kardashian did it, they'll think it was uh, uh, good. They, you know, they don't even they don't even fault Kim Kardashian and, and, and but I I'm just give, saying I gotta give Kim, Kim Kardashian can dance her, her ass off. Awesome. She's not her props from woman. being fake. <laughs> Ain't nothing on her real. No, no. Ain't I'm nothing on that. none of them Kardashians real. I'm not about except that. for the one they always talk about. I'm she not talking about that. She, she even got some more dirt. All of them. Mm-hmm. What? See, they didn't let them sisters talk them into getting something done. <laughs> After they was the they only ones that was natural. Said that they all had shit yeah. done. They own brother said and that. I, he had some shit done too. He admitted that. And I will say uh, this: like a few years ago, there was this meme going around saying, um, "Repost this if you not a thought and you haven't you haven't posted a, a twerk video on social media." Um. I personally, I do feel like some things, especially if you're, if you're married, shouldn't be posted on social media because you are either like a married man or a married woman. So me personally, I wouldn't post a twerk video. But what if you and your husband like, baby, married. you did, you looked it good, baby. I want people to see how good you look and he yeah. posted it. So let me finish. 
So that would be something different. But I'm just saying, like, me personally, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to show my goodies you to the. School. I wouldn't want to show my goodies to the world. But she didn't show when no I have a, No, a she man. didn't. She didn't show. And, no and I have a twerk video when I was with That's what, my friends. But I'm, I'm literally woman. defending you. I'm a you twer- woman. I don't twerk on nothing. I don't uh, even be out there like you will never find my titties. My you won't even hardly find my face. You won't hardly find anything about me on social media at yeah. all. So I definitely think that certain dynamics play a factor. But we need to move along. Uh, so <laughs> I'm just They're, saying. Like, I'm just saying. They hating on her. They hating and on her, her husband. And her husband. They hate and she's you go, modest, girl. and she's modest. You she's go. modest. Well, her husband is okay. And they with calling it. her thoughts and stuff because she dated people in her house. They facts. jealous. They jealous. If her weird. husband is it's okay with it, me. then it's all good. But I'm just saying for me personally. See her I support you, you and Russell. For you and personally, you and your uh Twerk video with you and your friends. <laughs> yeah, like, like, Turkey was working it too. Yeah, she was. Yeah, if you working couldn't even tell it. the friends was twerking. She, <laughs> she was working, working it. it. You know, so it was different. It was really, <laughs> it was really cute though. She was, but but, but the fact of the matter is, she was just dancing. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, so moving along, I wanted to play this clip of um. A video okay, so basically it's put out there that if you cheat, it's okay if you do it respectfully. So let's go ahead and um, play scene two for me, please. You know we're in the last days when you hear women saying things like, You guys do not know how to cheat. Learn how to cheat respectfully. How are you going to make a video that says this isn't to condone cheating, but then promote it by saying if you're going to do it, at least do it respectfully. As if there's a respectful way to cheat. Cheating is wrong regardless. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. If you're going to stab me in the back, do it respectfully. If you're going to break my heart, do it respectfully. You picking up what I'm putting down? I just can't believe this generation of women, and it's not all of them, don't get me wrong. It's just how far we have fallen that we just choose to settle for anyone that just chooses us on occasion. You deserve someone who wants to choose you and only you day after day, not somebody who's going to choose you when it's convenient for them. That's not love, sisters. You weren't made to be a side chick. You were made to be a wife. This is your bar. Raise it. All right. Uh, I agree with her. I, I do, totally too. I <laughs> agree with her. I'll, like, ain't no way I want to give you a pass. Like, oh, if I don't know about her or, oh, if you don't post about her, then that's okay with me as long as you're, you know, keeping it hidden from me. Like, no. That's, first you of all. You deserve better. First of all, you should be worried about uh, sexual sexual transmitted diseases, what he's going to bring back home to you. That, so you don't want to know if he's out messing with somebody else? Okay, whatever. But it couldn't be me. I don't agree with it. It couldn't be. That's why I choose to be single. I'm sorry. Is Mom, do you want to say something first? Because mm-hmm, y'all know I ain't going to put up with it. Mom ain't putting <laughs> up with none of the bullshit. But I'll say this in regards to that. That's the most... Like what uh, Bill Cosby said in the episode, that's the dumbest thing I <laughs> yeah. ever heard in my life. That's dumb. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. Why the fuck would I put up with a man cheating on me, possibly, like you said, bringing me diseases mm-hmm. and all this other stuff, and, and then saying to women, oh, why even question it? If you that grimy, this is exactly why a lot of women choose to stay single because this is fucking bullshit the games that people play why can't you just be honest and if you want to sleep with a bunch of people just be single mm-hmm. go out be sleep with whoever you want to be mm-hmm. and be single yeah be single i agree with don't that don't fucking involve other women in that don't get in a relationship with a woman make her think she's the only one while you're out here why the whole world know that the whole she's world. not and, but her and, and, and i would say and vice versa terrible. for women as well yeah and vice versa for women as well yeah don't fucking do that you have every right to be single and fuck whoever you want to mm-hmm. fuck but, but stay don't single. Stay single. Mm-hmm. Stop getting in these relationships mm-hmm. and marriages mm-hmm. and then out here mm-hmm. being mm-hmm. a fucking thought in a hoe. Mm-hmm. Stop doing that. Mm-hmm. That's wrong. Period. And there is no excuse to cheat. There is no right way to cheat. There's it's all wrong. Period. Don't get no committed relationship and then go and cheat. You sound like a fucking fool. To me, some shit like a that. woman that says long as they do it respectfully. She don't have no respect how for herself. Can you, how can you because, respectfully, respectfully cheat on someone? How can you respectfully cheat on someone not telling them? Which oh, out of respect, I didn't tell you. Me. And that's, that's why these men were like, I, I did just sleep with her, but I didn't tell you because I have respect for you. Fuck you. What the fuck kind of shit is that? 
and most women probably stay because of the stability. They didn't and, have nowhere to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I don't give a damn. Mm-hmm. Most women, to me, that's why I have your own. Lady. This is I don't know. Maybe it's just where I, most women I know have their own place, and the man come and move with them. Oh, that happens a lot. You know, because it ain't that they don't have nowhere to go. They the one with the places and letting the men live on them. And I'm just saying, like, what is the the point of staying? I need somebody. I don't want to be in love. Because some of the women that I know that you... And the dying alone. Some of the women I know that you know that the men come up to their place, Mm. they a hoe too. Mm. So they out messing with every Mm. time they can hear it. He was messing with every Felicia, Sade, and and Brandy. Mm. So, I mean, Why don't they just all be single and screw whoever right. they want to? screw each other. Go ahead, have your big old That's ass so orgy disgusting. with each like, other. I, it is. I'm too worried about my health. Yes. I ain't trying to catch me. I can't too. get rid of. Me too. Like, no. not, it, not only that, don't you respect That's yourself ridiculous. enough not to your do body that? Your body okay? I want God, when he look at me, to be like, okay, she didn't been through some stuff, but not too much. <laughs> <laughs> Like have some some self dignity, some self respect, and, and keep in respect that also, like hell, what we're, we're dealing with the coronavirus now. Y'all don't think there are sexually diseases? You, you think you oh, they'll come out it? next year. You think that? Oh, like, like, they had the corona. You think they like, got the sex thing too? Some, mm-hmm. some sexually diseases, some sexually transmitted diseases that are coming up. That's new. That you don't know how to respond. All you can do is just not have sex with random people. Mm-hmm. I, I don't understand what the issue is. Try to like find if basically, if you don't want to commit to nobody, and, yeah. if you don't want to commit commit to nobody, stay single. If you gonna commit to somebody, be truthful and be mm-hmm. and keep your word and be commitful. It's simple. It's very simple. All right, so. Moving along, we have like three more topics. We're gonna try to make them short. We're gonna try to make them short. Yes, because okay, I've been so, sitting here a long time. So real quick, I want to play. Um, we're gonna go to scene four. I want to go ahead and show a clip of Cardi B outside of Club Eleven in Miami. <laughs> That scene, okay, so what it was was Cardi B had a Playboy event at Club 11 in Miami, and a black woman was saying, hey, I paid for this table, I got my receipt, they're not letting us in, they're letting all the other ethnicity of women in, you know, Hispanic, Caucasians, and not us. And so Cardi B was like, let the black women in, let the black women in. Um, I'm not sure if black women end up getting in, or if they, they were reimbursed for mm. their tables. They didn't get to get they in, get to or get what in. was going on, but... I heard um, on the Breakfast Club, this has been a big issue in Miami, not only in Miami, but a- across the, the, the world, period, how they prefer a certain look to be in the club. They want to have, the club wants to set like this certain brand they want to represent, and unfortunately, they don't want to include us black women. Um, number one, I believe... We the ones to get the club popping. Right. What they talking they about? They take what they <laughs> give and, and try to use it, but it's not going to be the same. Mm-mm. And Cardi B, as a black woman herself, I'm pretty sure that she was highly offended. And that's why she was saying, like, the black women in. I know she's biracial, and, but well, what, whatever. She's, she, Spanish she's like an Afro-Spanish. But that really, like, irritated my soul. It, it, it really bothered me. And then especially, like, in a setting like Miami. Like we spend a lot, African Americans spend a lot of money going to Miami. Spend a lot of money on the the fashions out there, the the venues. Just you can take our money, but we you don't want uh, us to have the product. And then who is they to say what people get to get in just because they think? You know what I mean? It's people that like black women. Mm-hmm. You know, it's guys that love us. And what's the point you of know what I mean? You can't table, choose you because can't you're either. not the one dating. You only the one at the damn door. Mm-hmm. Let us in. I would have kicked that. I would have did like my mama. I would have kicked that I door and went in. <laughs> you know I would have went in that I paid. I'm going in. You Facts. know what? Well, I'm sorry, my I'm sorry. You know what bothers me the most about this situation? What bothers me the most about this situation is black women don't realize the power that we have. We are the fucking 
standards of the culture. We fucking drive everything. The sands, the looks, Mm -hmm. everything. We drive everything. Why are we wanting to give our money and business to people that are going to shut us out? I don't understand that. What I got from that Cardi B video was, you know what, that's more reason for it. Like, it, it brings me back to the top we had last show about black women having a retreat. I feel like we should, you know what, if everybody wants to shun us, start skin, we should start up, doing our own thing. We should thing. start doing our and own thing. You know what's thing. sad is they were supporting a black woman. They were a supporting woman of color. a woman of color. And she was like, yeah, let them in. They didn't let. Them in. Ain't no I way heard. I was doing something and I say let them in and they Cardi didn't. B they should have walked in. Obligated. Mm-hmm. That was her coins. I don't fault Cardi B in this situation for the simple fact that she had to be there contractly. Like from her coins. She's getting her coins, let the girl get her coins. And she even said to the people outside, let the black women in. Like she was doing every, she, everything. With she could have did everything. She, she, I don't think she did everything she could have did because she could, like you said, like she was saying, let them in. And Cardi B has a history about talking about dark skin mm-hmm. black women. Like, so I'm not gonna go into the defense of Cardi B. I'm just gonna say she this has a black because, child, and that's ignorant. Uh, her, but from this her, is not uh, new. I have a friend who went to a Drew Hill event on my Facebook page who told her story. She after this situation came out, there were a lot of black women who had told stories about experiences they had. One, I have a Facebook friend who says she went to a Drew Hill concert and they had this VIP area that they paid, like these women paid for tickets. She said she, her group of friends that she went with was a mix of women. There were white women, light-skinned women, and dark-skinned black women. She was one of the dark-skinned black women and it was two of them. And when they got to the VIP section, uh, Cisco purposely told them that her and her other dark skinned friend could come in, but invited her other friends into his booth. I the gave Cisco but, a but karate she did kick. Say, but she did <laughs> say that the other members of Drew Hill were super nice to her and her friend and let them come in their space. Like they all, basically every member had their own space. Oh. And uh, Cisco did not want them in their we space. We think you gay anyway. Ain't he the one that uh, <laughs> dyed his hair? He want a man. Yeah. Ain't yeah, he the but, one that dyed his hair and talked about, uh, talked about them, But that, um, that's yeah. very common. It seems to be I more hate common that stuff. now. And I feel like this, black women, the reason why I went so hard and I even got to argue with my brother, y'all saw on the show about black women having a space. This is why I go so hard for those reasons. We just be, could be being normal people, living life, and all of a sudden we're told, oh, you can't come here because of the color of your skin. You're I've never dark. heard you're that. Too, you're too dark. We don't do Well, mom, you're tar- not dark skin. But you know what? I'm going to bring somebody dark with me. I will kick in that dog, man, that person see, go like, in there and tear my, that my, club up. Hasn't had That's a shame. But I don't go out to like, clubs either. Yeah, you be know, honest. I don't even go to clubs. But when you used to hang out. When but you not really. Not. But I ain't never clubs. experienced nothing like been, that. That's whack to me. But you've been to clubs. You're light-skinned. I'm not really light-skinned. You are light-skinned, mom. That's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. <laughs> Mom, our mom is light skinned. She she wouldn't My have the same My mom represents for those who are darker complected. I mean, she because all her exes. And she I feel compl- like I, I don't even know. wanted to wear a darker skin make sure like I want to get the dark foundation. I want to be chocolate. Her are darker complected. Her yeah. children are Her children are darker complected. But I, I just don't <laughs> consider myself But you are a light skinned mom. For the people. You, like, you for the people. You, you very pro-black and that's <laughs> fine but you never experienced that because you are the prototype. Like men like women that look like you. You're well, like that's a damn shame. Like, they like, shouldn't, cause I'll tear some shit up. Well, well see, <laughs> you, you are you prove that, but they don't want to believe that. They want to believe. first they they see the appearance, then they get the personality. Yes, oh. later they well, see then, like, oh, she fine as fuck. She crazy, but she fine. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I, I I really I don't think that's right. I mean, but that's really the don't. situation. That's the situation. This is why like I that. advocate so hard for black women creating their That's own spaces. Sad. If we're going to be shunned out, and I also And then case, once you create your own space, I can guarantee you they're going to want to come. Yeah, what? That's what like, we talked about! Oh, that already happened. That already happened. We played Noriega on the show tonight talking about uh, his uh, 
Floyd's son having a beautiful hair hair texture. He was also the one who said that his wife should be on black, a black is raising, but so she needs oh. to go on a black woman's retreat. That's the same guy. Mm. So we know that's how people feel. Where is the space for black dark skinned black women? We can't come to the club and hang with the celebrities. We can't come to the club and hang with you know the popular culture. You only want light brights and this and that. So then when we create a club that allows that centers dark skinned black women, all of the light skinned and other races of women are gonna be like, Y'all discriminate, but y'all be discriminating us. I'm, you know, I'm gonna start the fucking club and you myself. Know, and you know what they love to say to the other ethnicity of women? It's not me doing it. That's what black guys prefer, or that's what so they, they love doing that. Oh, they 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 prefer the. Danny you know, I wish somebody Danny tell Lee. me I would put my foot in her ass. That's, I don't give a I fuck give what, they damn what they prefer. Yes. Yeah, take this foot well, up in your ass. Mad at us because they, they like the way I don't we give a fuck what they prefer. That, I'm not mad they, at y'all, but y'all like quit. Bright, bright, then Listen, go with that. I'm not mad at light bright. I'm mad at dumb as fuck. Y'all not, fuck. not only light skinned it, y'all let the men run over and you, cheat on like you, on and everything <laughs> else. They feel like people of color, dark skinned women, they ain't going for that. We ain't letting you cheat. Like and one. we ain't doing nothing like that. You know what I mean? You sitting up there thinking you all this and all that, but they only want to be with y'all because y'all stupid. Yeah. Cause y'all think y'all are prize and y'all not. Uh, and then they cheating on y'all with the dark skinned women. Girl, girl, it's on fire. I'm, I'm hot today. today. I am hot I'm today. Yes. Okay, so I love it. All right, so we technically have three more topics to oh, talk Lord. about. Two, and we're gonna try to do it fast. So I do want to say. Um, my condolences to Sylvia Matthews' family, the DC woman who was murdered by her stalker. Oh, yeah, that's so sad. What yeah, happened? so where it stemmed from was well, she was a correctional officer at a jail. The gentleman was a, uh, well, the bastard, I should say, was a uh, inmate. And he Criminal became obsessed murderer. with her. Yes. Motherfucking murderer. And so it was like a history there, a history there of him stalking her. And unfortunately, I believe it was around December 4th, he ended up killing him. How? He broke into... He got out of jail. Home. He got out of jail after serving 20 some mm -hmm. years in jail and went right back to harassing this woman mm -hmm. and was at her house. She even called the police and he was at her house, in her house, like trying to co uh, coerce her and I don't know I think he wanted to be with her I think he was in mm -hmm. love with her and she was yeah. like can y'all talk to him she called and put the him on the phone with oh the cop my God. while she was at the house and they're telling him leave and they kept saying oh there's why nothing. they wasn't sitting in the car over there while they, they was talking to him they sent cops over there and you know what the cops said instead of taking him to jail just leave her alone you made sure he left the house and of course after they left he came back, back. And then what ended up happening, he came back after her calling. The same night she called the cops and they took, came and made him leave. He came back and like beat her in the head. And she survived for like a few hours. And he was in her basement. He like, like, and she what? was 70 yeah. something years old. She was old. 71 and he was 66. Was, mm -hmm. and, and, and years of him stalking this woman. And nobody did anything. And then she, he beat her in the head until like she was she had major head injuries and she survived for a couple hours in the hospital until she eventually died that was the fault of the state that was the fault of the police mm -hmm. that was the fault of nobody protected this woman mm -hmm. and she had did everything right she had put a restraining order on this dude she had went through all her family had went through all of the steps to protect her, her from this dude and then they he got out of gun. jail he got out of jail after yeah. serving so many fucking years. They should have gave her a gun so she fuck. could shoot. Him. Well, I agree she should have. But you know what's also fucked about that? We're going to talk about the girl, uh, one of your other topics that we were supposed to talk mm -hmm. about. Had she had shot and killed him, she's liable to have been in jail for killing that man. Mm -hmm. But in her not case, on my it property. probably would have been self defense. Mm -hmm. probably and not she, on my property. You know, one thing I, I can say that I think our next topic uh, with Crystal Kaiser, what she didn't do, she, this, uh, um, Sylvia Matthews had restraining orders against this she man, did. so she so it was a record. There was a record. police reports yep. about there everything, was, so that would have protected her. Mm, she just needed a gun. She yes. just needed a gun. And one thing I do want to say is, I feel like the the jails. If you have female correction officers working, especially in like a, a, a male pod, be, 
Yes. They should be protected. They mm-hmm. should. I wouldn't even let them have If his people, if with... he's like that, he shouldn't even be around no women. Yes. Let the man deal with him. Exactly. I exactly. Agree. I, agree. I agree. All right, so moving along, this is our last topic I'm going to combine. Um, so Jesse Smollett, the actor from Empire, and um, was it On Our Own? Yes. Um, he was convicted of, what was it? Uh, Not Ms. fraud. Uh, it was mis, uh, misconduct. Misconduct. Mis- misconduct. Disorderly Disorderly conduct. Conduct. And I think that that is stupid. <laughs> um, it should have been fraud because he lied. But um, also I want to tie that into Rittenhouse, the, the young teenager who went and um, killed people at a, uh, the protest. And also Crystal Kaiser who killed her quote Abuser. unquote pimp. She was sex trafficked. Yeah, mm-hmm. her pimp. Um, Rittenhouse house wasn't convicted of any charges after he literally went to a public place to murder people. Yeah, he, but Chris his skin Kaiser, color. Yeah, with the Chris, Crystal Kaiser, who is an African American woman who's also from Kenosha, uh, Wisconsin, killed her, her her pimp, and she was convicted. Mm. Um, I Same feel thing like with Antonia Brown. Yeah, um, I feel like one. We don't know her situation. Like she really probably could have been like held hostage. She probably had no way to get to escape or anything. But the backstory that I got was she went on Facebook back page, literally purposely found someone to help her sell herself so she can get more money, prostitute herself so she could get money. She was, so but people, she was also a child at the time. So people are blaming her for putting herself in a situation. Um, and every, everybody's not the same, but nothing good is going to come from that. Hold on a second, but how, how old was she at the time when she did that? Do you Uh, remember? How old was she, 16? I don't know, you tell me. When she did put the post up about selling herself. I don't know how old she was. I, all I know is she was a teenager. She was a kid. I think it said she was 16 though. She was a kid. She was a kid. And a lot of people were saying, oh, she knew better. 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, <laughs> y'all realize children. they still most, learning. They're still learning. They don't know. She obviously learned that from being sexually abused at a very young age, right? I'm going to say. That's more I, than likely the case. I uh, do agree that she probably was taking herself, and I don't think she should have been convicted. Because, again, we don't know the backstory. She was being held hostage. But also, you have to be able to take accountability for your own actions. Absolutely. Things happen to uh, everyone. Absolutely. And everyone handles things differently. Absolutely. So, like, let's say somebody's in the household and they're sexually abused. So as was their sibling. One may be on drugs. It may One may take a straight, straight and narrow path and become a doctor or a lawyer and not... Engage in like no, you're absolutely you know, right. No, 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 no. Like abso- that. That's what I was leading to. Okay, sorry. What Go ahead. I was leading <laughs> to. You're absolutely right. Okay, sorry. What I was leading to was where is the accountability for the person that will take advantage of that sixteen year old that they know doesn't know any better that the grown person that's like, yeah, I'm gonna take this sixteen year old on my wing and sexually abuse them and do whatever I want them because they don't know no better. Who's really in the wrong here? You know what I'm going to say? Accountability lays on both parties. Of course accountability lays but, on both parties. But you, you can't fault say, a kid that don't know I'm no better for real, something that an adult will do. I'm you say cannot this real fault quick that. To you my, cannot I'm blame the kid. I'm going to say this real quick to my mom. My mom is the shit. Because I feel like us as kids, we knew a we knew yeah, we, we, we knew, knew a, we knew a lot. We Mom, knew, she we let knew us right from wrong, no matter if we yes. was five or Thank sixteen you. or let us that's know. sweet. No, you for did. real. You like, did. And so when you when did. I hear things like this, and I, of course, like I got stated earlier, not everyone is the same and brought up the same yes. way. Yes, yes. But my you mom knew better. taught us. Of course, life yes. skills at a yes. at a young age. And this is why I am so. Uh, as long as uh, somebody uh, try to touch you here, you tell me, you know that, or if somebody Mom, comes to you, you that's did. not okay. You know, that's Mom, so you it's did true though. Job. And so for me, because that's my where my friend from of mine is, I be baffled when situations like when I hear situations but like you, this. This is my thing. I also think like 
the fact that I was wise as a kid and you did give me knowledge as a kid to like, don't let nobody do this. Don't do, let nobody do this. And if somebody does this, you tell me, like, you were very good yeah, with that. Yeah, that makes like, you uh, No, you, it's true. You were very good with that. And because of that, I'm like, I understand nobody, not everybody had that. Mm -hmm. Not everybody had that parent. Like, they had parents that were abusive, that were actually the ones doing the harm, harmful things to them. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened to these kids that didn't have the parents? You don't know everyone's backstory, so that's why I'd be to, baffled. Like, I don't know how to, but to separate you, it. You have to think of it. This girl, more than likely, didn't have a parent to tell her what our mom told us. This girl more than likely had a parent that was abusive to her. Matter, we watched all of those movies like where she no Holiday Heart where the, she was like she just he just want to kiss you. Yeah, he just want to kiss you. You would never do that to mm -hmm. us. You would never do so that. That young to lady us. was smart. What she do? She, she, she took ran the fuck away. Mm -hmm. She so she I'm just saying, but she <laughs> knew that saying. because she was smart yeah. enough to know that. But not all kids have that. And you're no, smart, kids but for that. me, and again, I uh, I don't question should have been convicted. But for me, if you're smart enough to get on the internet and Google back page, how to make, how can I get somebody but to make get money? on about your business? Go ahead and leave before but you kill what them. What does that like, have how, to do with knowing? Is that what right you're saying? Wrong? Because Kentucky? I'm just saying though, because if you that intelligent to know where to find no, a that, that, that back page to sell your she body, took off no, but that doesn't make correlate. money. Then you sh you 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 understand. But you you other have to things. understand how do how do you not know that prostitution wasn't a part of the hustle that she was taught when she was growing up? Maybe all she knows is how to finesse. A and I'm pretty that. sure that if she knows that, she didn't see abuse. She didn't see women that she watched be pimped out be abused. And maybe she thinks that's normal. Right. So we think that's normal. Why? But kill? that's what she's being taught as a kid. Y'all know y'all tell me. No, you're right. Oh, okay. Because that's tell what I'm saying. I don't know. Like if you if you guess. if you are a kid and you have this trauma and you've seen one one part of someone else's life and that's how you think life should be, then you probably didn't see it all. If she know how, if she probably seen prostitutes. She didn't seen a pimp beat a prostitute. I'm sure. She didn't probably see the prostitute use drugs. I'm sure. So but, she should have known, going on back page, doing this, not to because I don't think she should have been convicted. But, but she should have known. To understand is what what I'm trying to say is. Sorry. Kids don't know that kids only know. But Nisi, she's them. not really no, a kid saying, at sixteen. At sixteen, she is still a kid. Okay, you hear that, Elijah? At sixteen, she's don't still say he's not one because he's only fifteen. As far as what they've been taught throughout the years, Elijah's been taught. Right from wrong, Elijah knows right from wrong. I'm saying so, if this girl that, has I'm been, sure. if this girl has been taught be prostitute, be grimy, tr treat people bad, how would you expect her to get in the right track when she's 16? right? And I'm sure that she didn't see but things what like that. What I'm saying, this is what I'm you cannot fault her for her becoming accustomed to horrible treatment and acting accordingly. So basically then she probably didn't see, the reason why she killed him because she didn't see a prostitute killed the pimp because they was being held hostage. Because they, this is, it's a grimy world. Yes. 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 She I, knows, I don't, like, look, you not supposed, I, I shouldn't, I, I'm going to do, I'm going to go prostitute for you and make you money, but you're not going to be beating me and stabbing but me. But if and she's seen that me, lifestyle. And then you kill this motherfucker as a result. She was felt from the. If she's go. seen that lifestyle, like I said, three times already, she didn't probably seen a woman be beat. That's just the the so lifestyle. So as a child, she thinks that's normal. But to so go on she... the internet though, Nisi, and hunt for somebody to help her, you would think instead of killing somebody, she could have found another way another out. Another outlet. As far as what? As leaving. Thinking. Leaving. Leaving. Getting away from them. How? Uh, by getting on a bus or a plane. If he sleeps, sneak out. Mm -hmm. if, if that man, if she was able to kill that man without him. So what are you saying she did that? But hold on. If she was able to kill him. Murder. When you kill somebody, you can't come back from that. That would be the last thing I do. I, you feel, I mean, Do you feel the same way about the burning bed situation? The burning bed, she... You know, she had a husband. She didn't go. And out he to kept on beating her. her. I, she really didn't have a but choice. And he really kept. It. But wait, he she wanted to leave him. And he really kept following her. Now he really knew where she was. But this girl, I don't see how she would have packed up so and went to a whole other state. Wait a minute, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying before people 
kill somebody, you should think of other ways. Because to take somebody's life, you can't come back from that. One thing I'm, I'm, I want to uh, say, too, is I felt like a domestic... Okay, so she was a wife from the burning bed. She was a wife, a mother. I'm pretty sure that the abuse price started after they were, they were already married. She was already, mm-hmm. you know, bound to this man. And then she had no other outlet. So whereas this situation, she probably had a, 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 another outlet. So, like... If he was, what if makes he, you think she had another outlet? What, where is your proof of that? There is no proof. So but where's your proof had, that she had to kill she him? Had another outlet. But, but she's saying she could have because it's common sense. I'm saying the situation with the burning bed is different. This young she lady have no knew outlet. what she was getting into. But how right. do you how do you know that the girl that killed the man had a different outlet? But if you let me, and she was sixteen. If you let me finish where, where, I'm, where I was going, so you mentioned the burning bed. I'm just saying the lady didn't know she was getting into to show her into it. To whereas you justified her situation as her I didn't as justify a kid. anything. You said she probably knew this lifestyle from seeing it as a kid. That's a, a, her logic being flawed. Her ideas being flawed. That's what I was And then for to. me, I felt like if if the man was unconscious and you were able to murder him, then you could have escaped without him catching you. Since he was asleep. You could have just grabbed your stuff and left. Yes. And then how was he going to find her? You wouldn't find a way. But how? How are you going to find? If you really want to disappear, I don't see. If you don't get on social media, I don't see how nobody can find you. Y'all are literally arguing. Y'all are both literally arguing. I'm not arguing arguing. anything. No, hold on a second. When I mentioned the burning bed, it's literally from what y'all saying. You saying she couldn't have left with her kids in the middle of the night while he was sleeping in the burning bed? She did. She did, and he found her and came and got her and took her home How and beat her ass again. Nobody girl. knows anything. It's all going to be speculation. How do you, exactly. So, so then what you're saying is So how wrong. do you know she couldn't? And that she was young. It's like how you don't know she couldn't. But you don't know that, that she could. woman who burned that man at grace. So you're saying she should have went back and got abused again and then the We're not giving her children? grace. We're saying situations Lisa, were different. why aren't you understanding what we're saying tonight? Because it doesn't make sense to me. You're saying she should have let him find her? Just that left with him no being sense. alive? We didn't just say that, Nisa. Yeah, you did. You said because in the burning bed situation, you said she left one time. I said she left a lot of times. Well, you said she left and he came and found her and then she burned him in the bed. You said, but you're saying on the opposite case of this girl, this young girl who's been with us, she killed him the first night. So what we're, okay, so we're saying, are you saying that she should have let that happen multiple times? So so listen, this is what I'm I'm saying. What what are you talking about? What What are y'all saying? The same thing that we do at my my job when we do our human our human rights committee for psychotropic meds what was tried previously did she ever try to leave did she ever try to escape and was caught he wouldn't let her go so we're saying on the burn for the burning bed situation all of that she was literally tried to were get away married. this one was the not situation, really but that's what we were saying you meant that's what we you mentioned the situation with the burning bed and we're saying it's two different scenarios. We said she was she because was Because there was documentation of stuff. We said she was bound to this man. Okay, Nisi, we disagree. We were, we were I agree to we're disagree because I don't know what Nisi talking about. Right I know now. exactly but what we're I'm saying talking the about. Same, and it's the same I don't know why you get mad this, though because this girl is not, listen, this is a child. it ain't me and it ain't you so I don't know why but you get mad right now. All right, it's a child. So we're going to close this because we're going over time. Yeah. We're going to Agree to disagree, although we're talking we were about saying, a child. But although we're, was, we were I'm really trying to say, say that it was two different situations. Yes, that's all. But thank you all for tuning in to Cocktails with Tea and the Jace. Oh, and I want to tell you guys, we will be doing our giveaway um, winner on the 15th of this month. So make sure you subscribe and like our um, Instagram page, Facebook page, and YouTube page. And you Let them know what time to be watching because we're we're going to do it live. So what time should they watch? Um, I'll, let you, I'll let you guys know that the day of because my sis here, she works and she gets a, a little break in between. So we'll do it at that time. But um, I'll, so I'll keep you guys posted. So thank you. Bye. Because I don't understand.